Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 16. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to continue about Query Builder class. And inside this, we will discuss all about using where condition as well as we will see about insert and insert batch method. Now, if I back to editor, in the last video, we have started all about using Query Builder class. Inside that, we have simply created a query which is going to take all the data from our table. But this time, first of all, we are going to add some where condition so that we will filter our data. So what I will do first, simply this is the route what we have created called list hyphen data hyphen to. So copy this route back to browser and let's say that index.php and this is the route what we have created. So inside this list, as we can see that we are getting all the data what we have inside our database table. So here we have three rows. So that's why we are getting three different objects. Now let's say that we want to get the name where it equals to three. So how can we put where condition inside query builder? Let's see that. Now back to editor, go inside site controller and what I will comment of this line, uncomment of this first line and the second line. This is what we are using a query builder class. In the first line, we have created a builder instance of this table. In the second line, we are going to execute our query by the help of this get method and get result array. Now in between these two lines, let's add our where condition. Now inside this, what I will do builder equal to builder and we are going to add a where method. Inside this where method, we can pass our condition. So let's say that it equals to 2. Actually, we want it equals to 3. So here, it equals to 3. So behind the scene, it is going to generate the query call select star form in select all from TVL users where it equals to 3. Now, if we save all these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting only a single data because this time we have added where condition. Now if we want to get the query what we have executed by the help of these three lines so we have a other method to get our last executed query. So what I will do if I simply write echo this db and we are going to use call get last query. Keep in mind, this is the method which is going to print the last executed query. Now, if we save this change, go and reload this page. And as we can see that in the last query, we have executed call select all from TVL users where it equals to 3. Now, if suppose we want to add more than one condition, it means what we want if I copy this query back to slide pasting it here and we want something it equals to 3 and if suppose our field will be it name email and the phone number so we want that the email address is something like this so what I will do if I copy this email address and let's say email equals to this is the value so this time inside this query we have two columns what we have compared and by the help of this AND operator. So for that what we have to do back to editor and inside this where condition either we can create this is the first condition or simply if I copy pasting it here let's say email and the value we have something this is the value again if we copy that back to editor pasting it here save these changes 
go and reload this page and as we can see that select all from tvl users where id equals to 3 and email equal to this value but this time we have used the where method two times first for the id and second for the email address so is there any alternative way to get rid of these lines of code yes we have so what we have to do now if i make comment of these two lines and let's say builder equal to builder again we have where method in the same where method this time we are going to pass the single key value pairs instead we are going to pass an array so let's say that we want id equals to 3 and next we want something email address equal to this is a value save all these changes back to browser reload this page and as we can see that our query will be same so we have two methods either we can use the separate where conditions which is going to generate by using and operator or simply we can use a single where method inside that we have passed the conditions inside an array format so this is all about that is how can we filter our data using where condition and also as we know that this time we are getting a single row by the help of this where condition so instead of using get result array if we suppose put get row array or simply remove from here so get row save this change reload this page and this time we are getting instead of index wise result we are getting a single object now let's discuss about insert method as well as insert batch method so far we had discussed all about that is how can we select data on the basis of some where condition so for insert what i will do let's create a separate method so public function insert data2 and inside this method let's create first of all a builder instance so builder this db we have a table method and inside this we need to pass our table name so this is tbl users and for the route back to routes.php copy paste and let's say that insert hyphen data hyphen to this is site controller and inside site controller this is our method so simply copy and paste save this file back to controller and let's say that we are going to use insert so as we see for the name of insert and insert batch so simply insert means it is going to insert a single row inside our table but in case of insert batch the name itself clears that it is going to insert a batch inside our table batch indicates number of rows so if I back to editor let's say that we have a data in array format we want name we want email we want phone number again if you back to table to check our column names so name email and the phone number so let's say that we have a user with the dummy name dummy email address and we have a dummy phone number now next we are going to use the insert method so let's say builder insert and inside this insert method simply we need to pass the data variable because already we have told to this builder instance that we are going to use tbl users so simply we need to pass this data variable inside this method and it is going to insert that after insertion it is going to return a boolean value or it will return in case of some piece of data so what i will do simply let's write printr to check the returned value save this change 
go inside this routes.php, copy this route back to browser and let's say that insert hyphen data hyphen to pressing enter and as we can see that in terms of return data affected rows equal to one it means one row has been inserted and all the other details now if i back to table click on browse and as we can see that and this time actually it has inserted two times and the first time that actually we have opened this url and the second we have opened this url so it means that this is the url we have hit two times again if we simply change this value this is might be confusing to you let's change the value this is our new value and simply and to press this url for the first time go here reload this page and as we can see that we are getting a single row data why we are getting these two data because this is for the first url and when we open this source code again it is going to hit this url and insert the other row so successfully we had seen about insert method where we have inserted some dummy rows let's see all about insert batch method so as we know batch indicates our means multiple rows so inside this data array let's create array of arrays so this would be our first row let's change all about this dummy value again what i will do simply copy pasting it here this is our second row of this array copy again pasting it here and this is all about we have third array inside this array so what i will do simply when we pass this data inside this insert method it is going to give some array means some error in case what i will do simply instead of insert we are going to ins use insert batch method now save all these changes go here reload this page and as we can see that we are getting affected rows equal to three it means three different rows has been inserted into our database table now go to table click on browse and as we can see that we have the first row second row and third row so successfully guys inside this video we had discussed all about using select method by the help of some simple where condition also we had discussed about insert method as well as insert batch method in the next video we will discuss all about update method as well as delete method so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day